Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Hi folks, yes we're back and we are driving. We are heading to York to meet up with some old friends of mine from my Thailand days and one of them owns a sprinter van and she's bringing it with her and they're going to bring it back to the house i'm potentially going to help her do a little bit of work on it and also it'll give me a real good chance to have a look over a sprinter van and the kids as well and see what they think uh, because if i'm honest i'm pretty much sold on going with a sprinter now just for the size but i'm also starting to contemplate a luton now, for those who don't know, a Luton is one of those vans that's essentially just a big box on the back of a standard van. Now, that's a huge amount more space and height, but it just welcomes more complications with parking and bridges and certain things. So I'm weighing up the odds at the moment. So we'll see. We might rent one one day and have a look, but otherwise we're going to see this Sprinter today. And before we go back and look at the Sprinter at home, we will uh, have a little bit of a gander around York, so we'll take you with us. See you soon. Right, we've just, uh, we've just arrived at this car park, which is in an old uh, warehouse. Didn't, uh, didn't know they had this here. Very good. So we're just getting our jackets on and we're gonna go meet uh, Ems, who's waiting at the train station for us. And then Sally, her other friend's gonna be arriving with her van shortly. Yeah, so York is an ancient city and it's famous for its walls that surround the entire city, well, the inner city, and you can walk all the way around them. It's a bit too far for me though. Right, we're coming up to the station, so we're going to meet Ems now. Okay. There was a guy coming around the corner just a minute ago yeah. and I looked up for a millisecond like, I don't think AD's been, but that lock, it was like, no. <laughs> no, it did get quite big for a while, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're just going to put some of Emma's stuff in our van and then we're just going to kill time and wait for Sally. having a good look around this thing. She hasn't converted it yet. I'm going to see if I can help her a little bit. She's got ideas. But we're going to wait till we get back to our house. First of all, we're going to go for a little walk around York. Well, we just had some absolutely lovely Thai food and now we're going to have a little walk through in the shambles, which other people call the Harry Potter Street, for good reason. We're not big on crowds, you know that, for those of you who've been watching for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the river and see if we can rent a little boat. We're going for a chug 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 up the river. We've done it in the past. We're just hoping they're open at this time of year. Let's find out. Oh, 
Are you muttering about my cameras? Yeah. <laughs> You're worse than a Japanese tourist. I'm better than a <laughs> Japanese tourist. Cheers, mate. It's a bit like Alex Turner. <laughs> This is my future. When I start, when I retire, we'll do away with the van. We'll sell the van, and I'll buy a boat, and they can they can drive it and man it, and I'll just relax. I might start drinking again then. You know, because the glass of wine suits this, doesn't it? Hello. Have a nice time. Oh, look at that, you've done that before, haven't you? John is going to dock the boat, so let's watch him do that, shall we? Are you confident? No. <laughs> Turn it in. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Oh, get out. Yes, water and toilet. Water and toilet, no problem. Well done, sir. Ah, well, that was a pleasant day out in the city. We didn't film too much. Uh, we finished it with ice cream, as we always should, but the rain started, so we're just in a bit of a rush to get back to the van. But we'll probably sign off there and catch up with you in the next day or so when we start having a good look at Sally's van because I can't wait to start rummaging around inside a sprinter. See you then. Okay, we are on the next day and we're going to have a little bit of a look around Sally's van. She's already talked me around it and what she's wanting to do to it. But first of all, I want to help her. She wants to get the flooring up so she can have a look underneath and uh, see what sort of a state it's in. But I don't have the right size torque piece for this. So we're just going to pop up to tool station and go and get a new set. I'm going to need one anyway, if I'm going to be buying one of these vans, don't I? We got them. We got what we need. Right, we're going to take this floor up. There's Sal. You met Sal yesterday briefly. Hello. We are going to rip this floor up. So you say you've done lots of spraying with... I did over the summer, which I was spraying like every other day, but I haven't done it for a few months now, so... Five, obviously, maybe it's a job I didn't get a 50, because it looks like we're at 45. Back to that. Rotten looking. What? Yeah. Actually, totally fine underneath it. Uh, more challenging than these ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing. See, I thought those ones were going to be. They look like they were, didn't they? <laughs> Get that one. Right, we got most of those out, apart from one that's reluctant. We might have to take the grinder to it, but then this floor's coming up. 
Are you scared about what you're going to see? Yeah, I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. How do you want to do it? Do you want to lift it? Hang on, I'm going to go here. Does it fold here? You're going to lift and have a look. Oh. 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 I think it's still holding it pretty solid. I think that's something that shouldn't be holding it pretty solidly. <laughs> Try that. And the verdict is. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, actually, that's pretty. That's pretty good. I'm seeing one uh, one rust patch that's not too big. Hello. The rest of it's looking <laughs> actually really bloody clean. Yay! Right, yeah. let's have it out then. This is it. I'm going folding, folding up that way. Oh, this way. That's the rivets. Oh, there's more of them. There's more of them. Yeah, got it. Again. Oh, wow. Yeah, so muck, a lot of a muck. There's a rough spot here where there's been some holes. Yeah. And um, there. This is really but pretty nice. large, eh? That is. That is way better than I was expecting, to be honest. What's this sort of, this is all, um, is this insulation or? Yeah, it's just like a sound, sound, deadening. sound deadening. Sound deadening. So it's going to want to pop out and slide towards you or it's going to scratch the back of this seat. Uh, yeah. Through that doorway, if we can, keep it dry. With the once you've got the, the ceiling in, yeah, you're yeah, going, you're going and the to floor be, you're going to have like about or even <laughs> that much space. So, we're just checking that John actually fits inside a sprinter. <laughs> Does that work for you, mister? Yep, huge. So, as you saw, we got the floor out, and now we're just gonna have a little bit of a clean. Well, Sal is there, you go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, John? She's filled the front up with loads of stuff, but it'd be nice to have a little sit in the front. We'll move it all out yeah, and be clean. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll move it. We're on another day. Sally has popped off into the local town here to go and visit a friend that she knows from when she used to live in this area. And uh, she's given us the keys to the van so we can play and have a little rummage around. Now, as you saw yesterday, we got that floor up successfully and um, we've had a good clean out. There's a couple of little rust spots, but they'll clean up nicely. And now you will be seeing this van again for anyone who's wondering why are we watching him work on this some other one, someone else's van. Sally is an old friend of mine and we are gonna help her a little bit on this van wherever we can anytime she wants to come up and visit when we're converting ours and we'll do a little bit of work on hers as well as well and just to let you in on it it looks like we might actually have the money now to start shopping around for our own sprinter and yes I've said sprinter I'm definitely gonna go for a sprinter or a Luton anyway with that said yes it looks like we're almost there with the money which means we'll be getting it soon which means yes i'm going to keep working but through this summer we're going to be looking at doing the van conversion which will be obviously be a series on here for you all to watch and before next winter we're going to leave the uk we're going we're heading out into Europe. We're going to use grandma's as a home base. We're going to stretch out into Spain. And that's where you'll probably see Sally again and this van again, you see. So you will get to see the finished version of this van eventually. Because this van is new to her, our van will be new to us. Anything could happen. So we thought it'd be great to go in convoy and do, you know, who knows, weeks, months across Spain together. And therefore there's always a backup van. If someone breaks down, has a problem, we've always got someone there with another van who can run off to the garage, pick up bits, whatever. Support vehicle, basically. Uh, that seems very sensible for me, uh, especially having two kids on board. Even though if one of the kids is a giant. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd catch you up as to where we are. As I said, Sally's popped away. We're gonna have a rummage around this van. 
got a load of stuff on the front seat. We're going to clear that out because we want to sit up there and see what it feels like to have a sprinter. So, how's that feel? Now, the seat's really far forward for Sally because she's quite small. <laughs> Sorry, Sal, but it's true. You know it is. Are you, you trying to get right the way across? John feels like he's miles away from me compared to usual. Hello over there. You can't even hear him. Ah, I think, I think the L is gonna come and have a little look around because she's not had a proper look around the van yet. It, no, yep. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was closing the door on me then. Hi, the L. Hi. You coming to have a look? Yep. All right, climb up in there, scamp it. Big, huh? Very big. Weird. We'd have to get a platform for your feet so you could put them up and be comfortable. You might feel, feel a bit weird. But... Well, I mean, if you wanted, there will I be a, there will be a seat in the back, and you might feel more comfortable there. No, it's not. No, I'm not saying it's not comfortable. It is, but like you know, I'm just used to being in the middle, and that middle bit won't be there. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so you're just having to get used to different things, won't you? Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get an L step for entering the van. <laughs> this is really big. Huge, huh? It's really it's big. <laughs> Look at you, we could fit two of you, one on top of the other in here. Yeah. yeah. So, thoughts, children? L first. Um, L first. Sprinter, it, do you like it? Uh, yes, what's the other thing you were kind of like wondering about? Like the van? The, the Luton, Luton, with I a big think, box on the back. I think. Um, I don't know, as I said, you know, I think it's more practical. Also, if you said, you know, I mean, obviously it's not going to be like that exact, like, length, obviously. No, but very close to that. if we're going to get, like, a big one, already, and it's like, is it a medium? This is a medium that Sally's like, got. Already in a medium, it's already, like, still big enough, I can imagine, like, having more space. I just think, you know, it doesn't really need to be this big box already. Like, yeah, obviously we're going to have, like, stuff, and it's going to be a bit shorter than what we have now but I still think it's a decent size that like, it's only three of us I just very good the L has spoken I love your opinions you've always think, got something to say it's great I think maybe just like it's already like good it's decent enough it'll like get us through life and all that um I just think you know you're worrying about not having space like um outside like parking or something I think maybe this would be better personally Fair enough. Right, there's Elle's opinion, and I happen to agree with it. She's always on the money. I think the Luton might be just a stretch too far for now, and if we find in the future we want to upgrade, then we always can. I would like your opinion, please. I don't care. It's all good. <laughs> and as always, I like John's opinion as well. He doesn't care. It's all good. He'll just be happy. As long as he can get out of the door and go swimming and surfing and do stuff like that, that's all that matters, isn't it, John? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Sally's back. Right, we are gonna clean it up a little bit more and then we're gonna grind off some of these rust spots. straight back down on top of the rust spots that are untreated but that will be happening in the next week or so but we've run out of time with Sally's visit for now and she'll be taking care of that one on her own. <laughs> So, 
that's it. Job done on Sal's van for, for this time. We will be seeing her again, we'll be seeing the van again. Um, we're just going to chuck her bits back in, but there we go. Anything to say, Sal? Thank you, Aileen. <laughs> <laughs> My absolute pleasure. We'll be seeing Sal again in the future for more van work, and uh, maybe when we're working on ours, she'll come up and visit as well. And then we'll be all going to Spain together at some point. This is going to happen. All right, guys, if you uh, haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. It helps us out loads. That would be fantastic. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. It would be great. It would be fantastic. We've got loads more to come. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.